welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today we are going to pack up this box for throw it up. So this box is just a medium uh, moving box from Walmart and this is the box that I usually send to throw it up. It usually holds just about 30 pounds worth of items and the shipping label that throw it up will send you is rated for 30 pounds so you can't send them more than that in one box. Um, so we're going to go through and I'm going to tell you guys I have this bin here <clears throat> of stuff I've been collecting. It's either going to be rejects from Plato's Closet that I thrifted at the bins and Plato's two Plato's locations passed on. Uh, some of these things are some bad inventory buys like things I've had in my inventory listed that I've tried to take to a buy sell trade like um Uptown Cheapskate and they passed on and that I don't want to relist. So I'm just going to get them out of my house and send them off and try to make some money back on them because that's one thing about thread up. Um, they're not guaranteed to take everything. And for me, I'm not asking for my items back. So I'm never going to see any of this stuff again, which is the goal. Um, yeah, but let's get into it. So like I said, all of this stuff is going to be either from the bins or from my own inventory. And I'm going to go through and tell you guys where I got it, why I got it, and why it's going to thread up. And then we will check back in a few weeks with another video updating on this particular thread up box so we can see what they, what they took, what they listed it for, and what has sold. So let's start packing it up. So first off, we have this <clears throat> Lucky Brand oversized plaid. Plater's Closets both passed on that. So to thread up it goes. This is a chaser, little graphic tank top. Thread up passed on that as well. I mean thread up. Plato's passed on that as well. <clears throat> this is a little czar. I don't know if this is a, a mini dress or a top, but and it's ribbed. So I and it was a good color. So I'm kind of shocked that Plato's and Uptown Cheapskate passed on this, but that's okay. This belt has little butterflies on it. Plato's passed on that. These are a pair of native sandals. And honestly, I just didn't list them <laughs> this past summer. And I'm tired of looking at them. So I'm going to send the thread up and hopefully get a little bit of money back for them. These are Lululemon and they were in my own personal closet. I did get them from the bins, but they were hemmed by someone. So I feel like they're going to be a little bit hard to sell online for myself. So I'm going to send them to thread up. This is what I would consider a bad inventory buy. <clears throat> I've had this sweater for like, I don't know, a year and a half. I've reposted it several times and it's been on several platforms and it's gotten no attention whatsoever. I took it to Uptown Cheapskate because they take vintage and they passed on it. So I need it out of my life <clears throat> to thread up it goes. These are a pair of assets by Spanx leggings. Uptown Cheapskate also passed on these. I got them at the bins. To thread up they go. This is a new with tags dress and that is the reason I bought it at the bins besides the fact it weighs like next to nothing. Here's the brand. Never heard of that brand before but Uptown Cheesecake passed on it so to thread up it goes. These were for my own inventory and I have never had an offer on them and I'm pretty sure it's because of the length. They're like in between a Bermuda and a capri pant. Um, they're women's Patagonia though, so I do think Thread Up will take those. Next, this is a Fashion Nova sports bra, which I'm a little surprised that uh, Plato's passed on, but that's okay. These Chacos, just like the native sandals, got them at the bins. I didn't list them in time and I'm tired of looking at them. Also, Plato's Closet passed on those. <clears throat> they're Chacos. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> This is a suede leather crop jacket that was from my own inventory. I've never had any interest on it and I took it to Uptown Cheapskate. They passed on it and now I don't want to see it anymore. So it's going to thread up. These are some Nike athletic pants. Plato's passed on these. And you'll notice a lot of this stuff really doesn't weigh a lot. So that's another reason why I buy it at the bins because it doesn't really weigh anything. This is a Banana Republic breast dress. Um, really cute, like 
knit fabric, <clears throat> tweedish almost. I think I did pick this up specifically for thread up, but I did take it to Uptown Cheapskate and they passed on it. So it is going to thread up. These you guys saw already in another video, opening ceremony, going to thread up. This I purchased to try to give to Play-Dohs because of the color. I thought it was like a pumpkin spice color and it was new with tags, but they passed on it. Probably the style's not right for them, so to thread up. <clears throat> These are the one teaspoon jeans from yesterday's haul or the other, my last video. <clears throat> Uh, the two reasons I am saying these to thread up, they are skinny and they are a size 24. And for the life of me, I had such a hard time selling small size jeans. So thread up can sell them for me. This is an express tank top. Plato's passed on that. Plato's also passed on this Madewell turtleneck. Likely because it might be a little bit outside of the two year window. Uh, this is a blouse called In Bloom. Really pretty. Passed on that as well. Then we have this Zara Skort, which I thought they were going to for sure take this one because of the color. It's good for fall. It's kind of like a fox suede, but they passed on that. I, I don't know if I said that's Zara. <clears throat> these are Puma. Plato was passed on these. And if you'll, if I didn't mention already, thread up does not take menswear. So that's why all of this stuff is women's. Otherwise I would be sending them men's stuff as too, stuff as well. But I end up just donating the men's stuff because they don't take it. This is a Victor Costa dress. I had this listed. <clears throat> I had no interest at all online. I took it to Uptown Cheapskate. They passed on it. And now I don't want to relist it. So it's going to thread up. This is a outdoor research hoodie. Plato's passed on this. <clears throat> REI pants that Uptown Cheapskate passed on. These also are super lightweight. This is a Olympic full zip like athletic jacket. This probably could be considered men's, but I think you could consider it women's wear as well. So I'm going to try sending it to thread up. Here is a Banana Republic blazer that I actually bought specifically to send thread up from the bins. It's cute. <clears throat> and I got little Levi's. I'm surprised Plato's passed on this little mini skirt. Maybe because it's so small. It's a size 25. I mean, it's, a, it's an adult size. It's not a child size. So these, I think these are just Walmart, but they were new with tags. Little denim shorts. Here is a brand new with tags, like silky Banana Republic blouse, new with tags. I don't know if I said that. And then last, oh no, not last, two more things. This is Fashion Nova, little skater skirt. I'm shocked they passed on this at Play-Dohs. And then this is unbranded, but it is a silver, like metallic, super lightweight jacket. So, now let me see if I can show you guys. This box is pretty full. <laughs> okay. So, like I said, I will take this to the post office tomorrow. They usually process my boxes, I would say, within a week of receiving it. Um, as soon as I get the email letting me know that it's been processed, I'll show you guys what they do then because you have a very small window to slightly adjust the prices of things if you want to. Um, I don't usually do that, but <clears throat> because I want them to sell and quickly, <clears throat> but I will give you guys an update and show you guys the process along the way. If you have had any experience with thread up, I would love to know, like, do you sell to them? Do you buy from them? I've purchased from them before. I've purchased, I bought Jack a beautiful Chanel wallet off of there. And it was like a steal. I feel like it was like $124 and it is a gorgeous navy blue quilted like bifold wallet um so that's something i found on there that i really loved <clears throat> and I, I mean i've had my ups and downs with thread up in the past um a few years ago probably like five years ago now i said something about thread up that wasn't super positive on instagram and i had a pretty big following on instagram at the time and 
thread up just quit sending me shipping labels they didn't allow me to sell with them for a while and i kind of feel like it's because they were like punishing me for giving them negative publicity but i wasn't lying about what happened and i was just asking a question and they used my forum of social media to do so and i guess they didn't like that maybe i'm crazy maybe i'm making that all up but for years they would not send me a shipping label and then all of a sudden <laughs> like a year and a half ago i started getting shipping labels again and they told me i was part of their vip club and this that and the other so i've had my fair share of ups and downs with thread up but right now we are up and I will keep you guys posted, but let me know in the comments below, like I said, if you've had any interactions with ThreadUp, if you sell to them, if you buy from them, if you love them, if you hate them, I would love to know. See you next time, friends.